when the seven gaming board members travel for board business, they are permitted to claim, quote, enhanced daily food reimbursements that are two and a half times higher than the state reimbursement rate. Again, uh, they did reduce the cost for staff, but they didn't reduce it for the board members. And to me, it does not make sense. If it was important enough to change the reimbursement policy for staff, I don't know why the board members are still eligible for the enhanced reimbursement. I call on the Gaming Control Board to change that policy and to go to the policy that I believe should be applicable to the whole Commonwealth and certainly what their own staff has. There is a statutory restriction in Act 1 of 2010 requiring that board members and staff be reimbursed only for actual and reasonable expenses. For example, a Pennsylvania Gaming Control Board staff member traveling to Pittsburgh on business has a daily food allowance of $71. A board member doing the exact same trip is allotted $177.50 for meals. First of all, um, I've been to Pittsburgh, born and raised there, 177, look, uh, that's, Pittsburgh's not Manhattan. I mean, that's a lot of food that you can get for $177.50. Uh, that's, uh, I'm sure it exists, but I don't know where you're eating for that. I mean, that, that for one person, that's not even going out for um, dinner with your spouse. Um, that's, and that's for a single day. That just does not sound reasonable to me. Now, they, in the audit response, felt that they were within the law on this. I think that's an open debate, but I'm willing to accept that there is not a hard set rule of whether they are within the law or not on this. Just because you're within the law though, even if you are, doesn't make this right. They reduced the cost for the staff. I believe they should put themselves in the exact same place that they put their staff. Otherwise, it looks like there are two sets of rules, and I don't think that that's right. Now, board members, as we know, are paid $145,000 for salary, um, and for comparison, liquor control board members are $75,000 a year, turnpike commissioners are $26,000 a year, game, commission, game commissioners and fish and boat commissioners, no salary, public utility commissioners are $145,000, of the 20 states with governing boards like the Pennsylvania Gaming Control Board, only seven states pay a salary to their board members. You know, I'm not here to say that that salary should be revoked, but it is a very healthy salary. At a minimum, their reimbursement should be the same as, the, as their staff who are not paid nearly what they are. It is bad public policy, and I think is clearly wrong.